All right, we got a round seconds, three, best of two, between Keg Reborn and Sleep Fix. Unfortunately, didn't get to catch this live last seconds, night because I was out, but here we are. We can uh, we can always find the replay. And luckily, uh, I was worried that I would know who w won uh, based off the ticket and like having a spectate, but it actually does quite a good job of hiding those details. So you can just click watch without like actually seeing what happened in the match. So. Yeah, and because they're best of twos, you know two games are played anyway, so you, you're not going to get spoiled with the second game or anything. So yeah, it's pleasantly surprised, but uh, we can jump into the draft. Um, we can see, looks like Teg have Jakiro Chen supports, and then offlane Axe, and they're picking Werther, and just waiting on a mid laner. Um, and Sweet Bix have Crystal Maiden, and I'm not actually sure. Maybe they run pods for... Or Zeus, that mm, we'll see, we'll see. They might be looking for a pause four here, to be honest, and just have offlane Viper mid Zeus. Little, little interesting. We'll see. We'll see what uh, what they choose to do. And actually, look, we can just be a bit sneaky here and fast forward. Both out. teams taking a lot of time to decide on their bands. That's what's in right. Dyer gets to ban. A lot, of, a lot of time. So, Wind Ranger band. Ten seconds. Tinker Five band. Seconds. Good. Get rid of Tinker. And oh well, yeah, it's it's interesting. It the does, does that mean that Tag are thinking they Radiant need a pause four in the Wind Ranger? I mean Sweet Picks obviously identify that they want a mid laner on Ten seconds left. Tag side. So, uh Tag are going to ban and to get over the last pick, so uh, Sweet Picks are going to five seconds four, last picking. Three, oh, God, oh, God. God. So they do pick a support, so that's gonna be Offlane Viper, mid Zeus, uh, Ursa, pause one, and CM probably pause five, but I think the Ten support seconds. positions are a lot less. Um, five seconds. The roles are a lot less defined in the, the most recent patch, right? It's like every support is everywhere. You spend the whole lane stage portaling to the other lane to help gank, so. Um, CM maybe not the best at doing that, but Ogre, you know, having a stun and the ability to slow a hero so you can run them down. Um, Dave one of the, Welcome like, really home. weird things which is Sack. added in the patch Choose is, like, the blood grenade and the dynamic that that adds to heroes that have a slow is really cool because, um, like, for example, Ogre's Ignite, right? It, it's a slow, but it's, like, such a minor one. Like, it's, uh, I think I want to say 16% or whatever. Um... Maybe it's more, maybe it's less, but it's like, it's not that powerful, but then when you add another slow on top, suddenly it becomes pretty good, so. Yeah, we see, uh, yeah, the, the mid lane final pick for Tag, so. Um, the Muerta vs Viper lane, I think, is going to be quite important. Um, I think that's the lane that Tag really need to win. Uh, Axe is not going to have a great time against Ursa, you wouldn't expect, but at the same time, Axe has a lot of avenues to um, to circumvent that, right? Like, uh, cutting the lane and pulling the lane to creep camps is way easier now. You have, like, 30 different creep camps to choose from. You can farm a different one every time if you want. So, um, yeah, it's certainly, it's certainly interesting. I actually haven't seen Axe on the latest patch, and it got pointed out to me that change to counter helix where it feels like um it's gone from being like a well obviously it went from being pseudo random to being guaranteed after a number of hits but it seems like that's actually much better overall for the hero you can expect to be much more consistent so i haven't got a chance to play or in fact see it yet but i imagine i imagine it's pretty cool it's always uh, always nice to be able to flex your uh, your win streak on um, on heroes when you load into the game. You got this. All right, who's you look got like blood you got this. Any blood Actually, grenades? you look scared. Oh You're yeah, now we're talking. It's hard to tell with your. Face. All right, I said sixteen percent. I was almost close. You know, it's nearly there. Like blood grenade plus uh, plus ignite, and you're just gonna run uh, run heroes down. It's it's pretty cool, and like. Um, he's going to be dire, but it's so important to keep ward vision on the portals from, like, four minutes on. Once the heroes get, like, level three. 
Like, you have to run a long way out of your way here, but where the creeps meet up is, like... Can I, can I not draw? I can't draw. That's, uh... <laughs> That's not what you want to see. Uh, the creeps meet up, like, on this line here, where the, the pathway leads to the Roche pit, and, like, the portal All is right, obviously quite seconds. close to there. But the thing Backs is, they have like to run so much. far to get back to the tower. So if they're slow and their three heroes hitting them, it, it's uh, it's a lot. Akira has a body to make too, and with uh, dual breath again, it's the same type of deal where there's a lot of room to run down heroes. Um, looks like maybe Sweetvic's gonna try for a first blood. That's an interesting ward, and Kagiro is spotted on the rune, gets stunned up. Uh, he's gonna, he's, he's dead here, he's dead. More we'll throws her abilities out, but Jakiro's dead. Did Jakiro get the rune? Jakiro did get the rune, alright, that's, that's worth it. And Zeus gonna run away and pick up a second rune, so nicely done by him. But, yeah, nice, nice first blood, and like this costs you nothing as well. Like, you're making a movement like this, like, oh, you got, he's going safe lane right now. Alright, no, he's not, he's getting a watcher. Hey, gonna try away. Ward's not in vision. This is, this is strange. They're leaving Ursa by himself up here. Um, oh, uh, gonna be a battle over the wars. Jakiro looking very dead here. Viper gonna start uh, spitting on him. Stunned up, now slowed down. He's gonna get the D ward, gets the D ward before he dies, but a second death for Jakiro. Alright. Mwertha finds a courier in the back, so that's something, but uh, she's not finding any creeps. That's that's unfortunate, but it should be relatively the same for Ursa, and now we're gonna see CM rotate back to that lane. And this is the kind of thing you can do, right? You can just bring heroes for, for just about anything. Um, and Mwertha actually getting getting quite far up the lane here, like, double slow plus the grenade, like, Muerta is in danger of just being run down here. Yukiro running all the way back to lane, um, after dying a second time with no TP, obviously, so... Forced to run, forced to run all the way back, but Muerta's actually doing, doing an alright job. Getting zoned away a little bit, but that finds it, and... All the castles actually miskilled. See him going down, but Ursa gets the reply, so ha happy enough with that. Chen, I think this Chen hero might be a little bit uh, busted in the latest patch. There's uh, one of the things, like, there's just so much space on the map to farm heroes, so, you know, if Chen wants to get level 3 and go farm, like, he can just farm camp. It's, it's pretty crazy. And then, obviously, the creeps themselves got pretty large buffs with, you know, abilities gaining levels and all that sort of stuff, so. Um, Chen doing a nice job of stopping... Stopping the pool, has the sentry ward down, gonna get the awarded. We'll try and secure the lane a little bit for Ursa here, but uh Ursa taking so much spin damage there and you now gonna be battle hungered up while he's uh, low. It's gonna be feel a little bit tough to to walk into the lane here. And there's another spin. And uh Ursa gotta be so careful, has only tangos for region and see unless you go for him. Nothing as well, so. Uh, so feeling a little bit of pain and suffering at the moment. The, that battle hunger shouldn't do much. Gets this taken off immediately. And see, I'm only level one here still though, so no frostbite. Like just gonna get right clicked down by Chen a little bit. Oh, Jakiro's career died. Suddenly, how did to kill Jakiro's courier in this late state? What's uh, what's going on there? Well, that's a that's a desperately need some some regen. Uh, doesn't get the battle hunger off and. Can get rooted off, but doesn't really mean much. Axe now rooted under the tower by the frostbite, but Ursa can't can't walk up and hit Axe to uh, to punish him for that. So it's a little bit of damage. And to be honest, this is okay for Ursa. You can't really contest it against Axe. So Axe is off last hitting him inside. Then he's fine, but CM may be in a bit of trouble. Battle pump get up, getting chased down. Ursa's actually going to jump in. Fury swipe and another blast enough to bring down Axe. So. Nice turnaround there from Ursa and CM to finish it off. And they managed to kill that pesky creep that's been netting them up as well, so... But that's it. That's it for Ursa's regen. He needs to... Definitely needs to buy something else. There's a courier coming. No health regen on it, though. Where is Ursa's courier? It's still in the fountain as well, so... 
that's a three gen's a long way away. Um, even though he has the money for, you know, Ring of Health if he, if he wants it, he's gonna have to run over to the shop. And with the lane in this state, it's not, uh, what? not gonna be very good for him. How is mid lane going? Uh, it's fairly even, actually. Both the, both the heroes are doing alright. Lesh, uh, a bit more mana at the moment, but... Um, yeah, actually, Lesh with a few more Reese's. A couple lost hits down, but... Um, you know, definitely nothing to, to write home about at the moment. So... Fairly even after the initial uh, initial creativeness from uh, Ebox, uh, sorry, um, Sweet Fix, there's not been a huge amount happening in the lanes. So, a nice pull off by Ogre, and this is where you open up that potential. If CM can just slip away, she'll be you know in a massively good position to be behind these heroes. But a lot of pressure being put under Ursa by this Chen um, axe combo, and yeah, I think CM does not feel confident leaving Ursa. Like, Ursa is once again no help in this lane, so. Where's Ursa's career? It's already come out to him. What did it, what did it deliver? It delivered the treads. Mm, okay. I mean, this is one way to get regen. CM sneaking off to get the Lotus's axe, gonna call up Ursa. Uh, not a spin though, the battle hunger up now, uh, sort of limping away. Axe definitely, you know, looking like he wants some, so Earth is gonna have to run all the way out of lane here. See him? Nice job with the micro on the career, does have uh, a frostbite and Chen under the tower, he's gonna go down. That's, uh, that's bold by Chen. And now CM, battle hungered up, but Axe is backing off and Earth is hitting creeps, CM is getting solo XP under the tower. And just a little over, a little over ambitious by Chen there. And CM pulling the creeps back for Ursa, what a good support player. Always got to spoon feed your carry. It's very, very important. Um, good stuff. Radiant Courier just took a dirt nap. <laughs> Another Courier dies, bottom void. And the Earth may be struggling a little bit against the uh, just being ignited constantly. Ursa, oh, yeah. I feel like Ursa needs to bring Regen out. What's he got? Alright, he's got another 7 Tango, so that's something. Um, and I suppose he has spent so much time under his tower that the, tower that, like, the natural tower Regen is actually like doing work for him, but gonna get called up now in the creep play. One more spin, it's not gonna be enough, the battle hunger's on him, the one charge comes out, only level one battle hunger, and with the tango going, it won't be enough to kill Ursa, but he's staying around. Uh, CM, now gonna get rooted up, uh, root up Axe, sorry. But now CM in pressure, Chen tanking the tower once again, it's gonna get quite low, Ursa's coming back, the Zeus ult cleans up Chen, but Ursa jumps in and gets Punch down by Axe, and Axe will tick out to, uh, I guess, Frostbite damage. Uh, that was massively over-ambitious, and once again, Chen really needs to be careful not to tank the tower. Lesh has actually rotated up. Not in time for the fight, but it's going to keep the pressure on the tower, but Zeus gets this alone time middle, and um, you would expect him to probably find the room here. Let's get a, a good ward on one. I didn't see who got the first power room. Lesh dropping a ward of his own on the way back to lane, but uh, if the rune doesn't spawn top, this should find it here, and it spawns top. And it's the shield rune, so. Uh, yeah. Zeus, uh, unfortunately, no bottle refill, and no mana. Zeus has treads too. Oh, he's, he's doing it. He, he's doing it. He, there's gonna be some shard action, and actually, bottom lane from Worthy goes down as well. And, uh, good use of the portals by, uh, Ogre and CM there, because, uh, Ogre had no TP, so he couldn't come down, and CM's TP still off cooldown, so, uh, yeah, both of them taking the portal and making their map move with spells, so nicely done by them, and, yeah, Axe now, realising that the way this has been going is, is awfully problematic, and just deciding that, uh, you know, it's time to cut, and Chen is heading bottom, but he's got the low for essential. The Jakira stuff coming in, and actually Viper a bit low here, is gonna throw out the Viper Strike, is blood grenaded, 
and Chen is on him, but Viper is just limping off the worker shot. You're gonna finish off Viper. Oh, Radiant's middle tower is so, hanging on nicely by a done. I, I can't believe this is the like second or third little centaur that I've seen Chen grab. So he's grabbing these on purpose over the big ones. Is it because he doesn't have the levels? And actually, Oka now getting drawn on Lesh rotating down with the shield rune. He's going to be able to tank off the tower. Actually, he's can tank the tower again. Yeah, Bell's getting harder, but he'll be fine. And Axe actually dying to the Ursa CM. Chen does manage to live just barely. And Viper now teaming back to the bottom line to defend it, but as Viper against the world, he's going to potentially need to be careful. No points in the Edict at all, so tower probably not in a lot of trouble here and Moirtha going to clean up Lotus's top and CM got a couple uh, top and CM actually sneaking down the side to get the rune very nice and Viper gonna realize that he's got stolen who actually who grabbed Dyer that is one kicking sweet hell out of Radiance bottom tower and see CM picks one up there but what happened to the other one? Invisibility. Looks like Radiant's top tower is getting torn down. It's not bottom by Zeus or something, anything like that. See him now TPing bottom. But I think maybe that TP was potentially spotted. But Jakiro going to uh going to bear the front of this one from World Two. Two serpents up with a stun work. So actually Viper struck up, so she's in a lot of trouble. Uh, the Zeus ult comes out, and now a little bit more Zeus damage onto Muerta. She's one hit from dead. She's going to get cleaned up by the old attack. Chen TP'd in, but he's going to get uh, stunned up and absorbed down as well. So, three heroes dying under the tier one there, and only a TP from Chen, and Chen's not really the most uh, influential TP. I suppose Lashrak with uh, not enough mana to TP, so unable to to really commit anything but yeah chen tp is not great Dyer's that hero doesn't really offer much TP, especially uh, before level six so you know uh, obviously you can't bring your creeps with you for a bit when you TP might want to haul some ass out of their bottom tower see chen's creeps still, oh, still got one and worth her realizing that uh bottom oh, is, uh, the middle but the track brought down by the freezing field and don't look now, Just some but Zeus damage and Zeus is, is doing it, he's doing it, he's full all in, he's, he's going to witch fight, my hero. Uh, I hope you're all ready to be absolutely deafened. And that ward spotted out by the ward previously placed by Lesh. Don't look now, but Radiant CM, you gotta be careful, CM is actually in a lot of trouble here, he's gonna get dual breath up. CM running forward though, no mana, and the silence has come out and Zeus realizes CM was very dead, my friend, goodbye. Celebratory mango for uh, for the way home, but Zeus does find out in a place, but now a lot of movement middle and uh, edict points are up. Axe running in, but he's no blink, so he's not gonna find anything. But just a lot of raw muscle here from uh, Peg Reborn to bring down this tier one. Ogre's coming in, but it's gonna be too late for the tower. It tries the ignite, but the tower is one hit. Ogre actually gets the deny. Nicely done. CM TPing into a nice path, but she's fine with that. She's cold hearted anyway. And this whole time, Ursa just, you know, taking his time, farming away, having a good time. Um, and that, that five man rotation from Teg, they do manage to bring the tower down like it's gone, but uh, what did it cost? Everyone was there. Ursa is, I think, two levels ahead of Muerta. Yeah, two, like, not not just, like, two levels up, but, like, more than two full levels ahead. Like, Radiant's middle uh, tower if we look at the EXP, you can see, this is the cost of bringing all your heroes to one lane. And, uh, you know, the gold, gold's reasonable, there's not uh, not a huge amount. You can see that uh, Ursa and Zeus are ahead in last hits, but not, not by a, a disastrously rocks. large amount. And, the Jakiro TPing mid to try and defend him now. Surely, surely you can get the big Sato with this attack speed. I had to, yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure about that. Uh, that's still very close to finishing his battle too. Um, he's actually going to be delayed a little bit by bringing his courier out in this uh, circumstance. His courier actually might get brought down. 
I didn't find it, but Ursa getting feared into the team. Pulled up, stunned up, and uh, all the abilities thrown on Ursa. He's going to be brought down. The TP's come in, but they are very, very slow. Hand of World comes out. Everyone's full health. Um, Ogre Ignite's going to go out, but do you want to take this fight? And uh, Ogre running forward. Zeus gets feared up into everybody. Does manage to leap out. Oh, he did get hit up by the taunt, so he's going to go down now. TM with a very nice freezing field, but nobody from your team's alive, my friend. Doesn't matter how much damage you do, nobody's going to die, and TM going to get cold up here as well, and two stacks for Max there. Just, uh, yeah, just really unfortunate. It was strange that they just decide to run forward, um, despite losing the hero before anything happened, so... They willingly took a 3v5 there, even, uh... Even Viper didn't TP in, so, uh, did he TP out bottom in that? That's, that's a bit strange, but, yeah, Ursa dying at maybe one of the worst times, slows his Battle Fury down uh, even further. He's very close and going to be able to finish it now, but it's not, uh, not a great time. And with that move and taking that fight and winning that fight the way that they did, uh, take Reborn, take the gold lead. She gets skinned out, but um, I that's maybe just going to give Viper a little bit more exciting. confidence to push this, uh, this wave in. And the Chen army. Uh, how does... Oh, we'll stop and get more damage. Okay. Mana burn. Meta, is Metaburn good? Radiant scanning around for enemies. Yeah, Metaburn might be quite good, uh, like scaling into late game actually. Like, it's always been pretty cool, but yeah, now it might not be very good. And Viper gonna run into Jiro. Jiro has the Glimmer Cape, so he's fine. <laughs> Viper hanging around and seeing Jiro running like that, you have to question what he's doing. Uh, Axe with Boink now as well. Oh, Zeus Old actually going to be used to bring down the tracking mid. <laughs> That's it on, and Zeus Shard is Radiant's on middle tower is Let's hanging on by a brick. And it's a farming machine now. But the, uh, the pain train, it's being mid, it's being top, and now it's a running bottom. And the blip's going to slow down a little bit, but... Oh, you man, it's another creep like being worth it with max guns, and also... Um, Zeus actually running in. Uh, was in this gonna get feared away? Worser broken up, but running away. Chen rooted up the central storm and a big axe fall on the two. Cien's gonna go down first, but now uh, axe is getting a bit of damage done. And Worser's ult runs out now. She is in trouble. She's gonna go down. The Chen heal not enough to keep her alive. Overrunning forward as well, and a lot of arc lightning's coming out. Uh, and now Axe on the run is slowed down a little bit, the Centaur Stomp gonna get Viper off him, but the rest of the team's still on him and ignited up, and Zeus still throwing abilities, and Zeus gonna bring him down. And the Zeus shot? Uh, where, where's my flight recap? Hello? Is it not working the replay? I wanted to see how many, uh, how many Chain Lightnings got cast in that fight. I don't even know if it, the flight recap works, but... There was so much lightning flying around there once we started the hitting. It is 50% for so every second mark. attack has chain lightning. And uh, Moletha now TPing back to defend this tower, so... Probably not going to feel confident enough to, to push in on uh, Sweet Beaks here, but... Take a convincing team fight when they lose their tower, but... You're always going to lose your tier 1 tower, so if you can get someone to oh, the back of that's fine. Slowing down the tempo of this drop feels well, so it's pretty good anyway. So he's actually going for a 4 stop next. Okay. It'll be interesting, I I wonder what uh, what he ends up doing. Axe fall up onto Ogre. Another one follow up though, and the Viper Strike now out onto Axe. Axe taking a lot of damage. Big Ice Path Macro Fire combo. Axe still gonna go down to the Freezing Shield. Uh, Moerta ult gonna bring down CM. And uh, now Jakiro in trouble. Moerta ult's gonna run out. Can she finish off the Viper? She manages to finish off Viper. Now the Shrek showing up. He's under vision though. Zeus actually jumps forward. The Bloodstone finished. There's a lot of damage from this Zeus, is it going to be enough? It does bring him down. The track, unfortunately, just uh, not enough in the tank to finish off either of those heroes. Very, very close, but 
So it's just outputting so Radio much damage. Now we get a fire recap. And uh, I'm not sure if this is showing uh, showing the amount of Radiant's arc lightnings from the shard. I don't Radiant's think it is. Middle tower I think it would be significantly higher. But you can, you can see what Zeus is providing in this fire, right? Like that is an absurd amount of damage. Like Freezing Field was hitting five heroes, but Zeus still still did the damage there, so. Yeah, it's uh team fight seemed very uh very bursty from Henry Bourne. Like they seem to have the upper hand while uh while the Muerta ult's going, but once that runs out they kinda run out of uh damage in the tank, so Maybe uh, a couple more items on Lesh might show that off. And obviously, my wife gets crazy late game, so it might get to a point where maybe Sweet Bix can't tank through the um, the Pierce the Veil damage. And you know, if that's the case, obviously it'll be enough. But actually, some Tormentor moves now. One hell of a beating. Uh, the boys gonna do the Tormentor and uh, take a lot of damage for it, but uh, actually not too much damage. You have to be really careful about killing your supports when you're doing Tormentors, but uh, yeah. enough health on, uh, on CM showing up at full health. And who did that shard go to? It went on to CM, and that's a good person to get the shard on. You like CM shard, it's 1400 gold, it's free. Swap over to the net worth here. You can see CM jumping up to the top of the supports with that 1400 gold. Would have previously been below Chen. <laughs> Yo, it's too much lightning. He just propped like six times in a row. Somebody stop this man. Uh, Zeus not going to come out and spot everybody. It's poor Ursa trying to kill the track there, but. Way too much in the tank, and the Shrek uh, so just gets beaten down by Pierce the Veil. Uh, and now Viper actually in a lot of trouble. Gets caught by the Lashrak stun, four stuff away, and Greaves turning around to throw the Viper Strike. Sentinel stop does miss. Viper should be okay. Second four stuff coming out for him. And uh, now the Chen Hill used. Moerthy's just hitting the tower. See him actually running up, he's gonna get stunned, and surely that's a death to him. A lot of abilities getting thrown on the CM. The Axe Blink actually cancelled there. CM freezing field doing a lot of work. The Shrek can go down, traded out for that kill. Now Over wants to run in, throws out the stun. Is only a two multicast, but Viper putting in the uh, damage. And Zeus, the uh, finish it off. Axe now with a single pull onto Ogre. But Ogre's happy to tank it up. And the damage coming out from Viper and Zeus is enough to finish off Axe. Very... Very disjointed team fight, and uh, Teg just struggled to get down this ramp. Um, the axe blink getting cancelled out by the uh, Viper, uh, the Viper break on the ground. The Nether Toxin just really sealing the deal there. Maybe if Axe gets a nice call, but you really, really have to do something about this lose, man. This is this is too much damage for the man to be allowed to live. Um, he has to be a priority, and hopefully, uh, Radiant's hopefully Tag will recognize that. Sweet Picks have opened it up a fair bit of a lead, and actually just gonna steal away two neutral tokens. So, uh, brazenly left in the, uh, in the camp there. And Lashrak was spotted out, I think, by the Splosher, maybe. No, it doesn't spot through the trees, okay. But, definitely spotted out on the creeps, and... A lot of sweet big rotations Dying coming in. They know the tracks in the area. They don't have good vision on him, but uh, the Nereal's gonna spot him out with the freezing field. They know where he's running. The Zeus ult to continue spotting him, but the vision's still there for the frostbite. The Shrek's stuck now. You've gotta fight your way out of here, son. He's gonna stun one, but Viper's still on top of him, putting out what damage he can. Bloodstone is all that, so that will be the end of our friend the Shrek. Blood spraying everywhere. Are they maybe we're gonna portal up here to see something? A nice ward by Dakira, actually. You you love to see this ward. Gonna keep an eye on that that portal usage. You know that the rest of the uh, or most of Sweet Bix was in the area where they could potentially portal down if you're making plays here. Wow, that was um, unintentional. Forget I said that. Their bottom yeah, wanna, tower is in trouble. And, that. and uh, actually gonna be a great healing locust collected from the the shrine there and. Uh, 
If you're a fan of Radiant's top tower, I'd set my eyes right now. Now the uh the counterpoint comes in, so he picks it and they batter down the to tower pieces. and they get a final wisdom rune and are they going to do the other team's tormentor? The ping comes out, there it is. So wisdom rune picked up by Viper, very nice. Now starting up on the tormentor and the Zeus just dishing out so much damage here. Tormentor's gonna go down the track, spots it out, but it's already dead. Uh shot onto Ogre. It's okay. It's okay. Ogre running forward actually, he's a long way away from the rest of his team. And uh, now the Lush Black Bloodstone Linearial forces forward, chanting a lot of trouble, but Sultan supports from Sweet Vix here. Uh, they're on top of the track, but he's not outputting enough damage. Axe gonna come in with the call now. Four stuff's coming out, but uh, the Cull actually misses over on the Ogre. He's still alive, does finally go down. The Chen creeps onto Lunarial, trying to finish her off. And the Muerta Snipe is out. And uh, it's gonna be a three for two so far, but Viper still uh, getting uh, battered down by the Chen creeps. And Jakira and Muerta gonna come in with enough damage to finish them off. So three for three. Um, and Ursa nowhere to be found in this team fight, so Ursa's just been farming away relentlessly, but uh, there's been enough fighting that uh, that the amount of gold going back and forth between the teams is actually more than Ursa can uh, farm up with, but he has farmed quite a lot, he's Battle Fury Blink, about to finish BKB, so uh, one day soon he went to the game, and Zeus actually finishes Hurricane Pike onto Chen in the mid lane, 4 star sword, Chen healing himself with the mech, but there's way too much damage there. Uh, Mitten brings down Chen. Uh, has, uh, yeah, finished the Hurricane Pike going towards a Manta style. <laughs> Wait, does this work with the Manta illusions? Oh, surely not. Oh, actually, it specifically says that they have a 20% chance to cast it. Okay. Oh, does it deal full damage? The way the way that I read that makes it sound like it does full damage. Oh, okay, we're gonna see we're gonna see some illusions, so we'll know. And by by full damage, I mean the the full half damage that it does. So. Uh, it does look like it deals like the the regular damage that uh, the procs from Lightning Hands would do. Dude, there's so much attack speed and attack range on this group. So much for lightning! Oh. <laughs> Jakira is taking so much damage from the illusion. Oh, he's gonna turn around and slow him down so he can get out of there. That's so wild. And meanwhile, Roshan happening. Ursa killing Rosh with the help of his two supports. Rosh no chance there. He goes down and. Now, with the Aegis, surely Ursa is gonna start to get involved. And Sweet Fix has been holding their own quite convincingly without the Ursa, so. Bringing that extra hero in uh, will probably change the dynamic of fights quite severely. But um, at this stage, I would say it's looking pretty good for Sweet Fix. They just uh, they need to close it out before Muerta and Lashrak become, you know, the people late game nightmares that they are. And Muerta now finding a Grofo. That's a very very good item for Muerta. One of the best neutral items I think until you get. To Honestly, maybe even be fly, but this this item is great. Uh, and Axe gonna get called off. Uh, sorry, gonna throw the call out, but triple stun and Ursa blinking for does bring him down. Uh, Ursa now with the leap near on the two heroes, but they're all still full health. So now the tower going to start getting hit. Oh, no shard on, but he actually does have the shard and starts using it now. So tower. Probably not one for this world. Throwing out abilities where they can, but uh, it's just gonna delay things here. And Ursus looking for a, the opportunity to blink in. Um, now with this next replay, Julius and Dow, the Jakiro Macrofire comes out to kill the replay. and actually gonna gonna hold off for a long without Viper. Use the poison attack on the building. Ursa now gonna run in. That's it for Radiant Tower. Tower's gone. We'll never forget uh, and a uh, smoke Tower. on the back of it. Uh, they do see uh, Muerta on this top wave. Are they gonna smoke all the way up to Muerta? Dyer is kicking sweet. It does look like it. Radiant's bottom tower. 
they are hunting Muerta. Muerta maybe gonna try and portal out. Is portaling out. The smoke's gonna break, so they know she's on the platform. She's actually not channeling the portal. She is now, but it's too late. Gets the yule stop. And uh, Muerta looking very, very dead here. Uh, he's gonna cast Pierce the Veil, but it, it's, it's too slow. It's too slow, I think. Maybe Muerta thought that she clicked the portal, but it's gonna be quite a successful smoke bringing down the Muerta and should, uh, you know, in tandem with the Aegis open up the push to the T2 top. Things are King's coming out onto the wisdom room. Wow, that was unintentional. Forget I said that. Their bottom Another wisdom room sniped away. I'm not sure if Keg have picked up a single wisdom room in this game. They might they might have picked up one over here. That might that might be it. But now the creep's coming in, so the, the push is gonna continue and it looks like Teg aren't interested in defending this. They've made the call already. Don't spend the tier two. Nobody's here. But if I was, I yeah, Malerta still respawn. Just push up the other lanes. Get what from you can. The big and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll back to the higher ground. And it looks like Sweet Peaks want to force the issue here. Viper going to start spitting out. And this is going to stack up along with the impeding corruption. Cal has very low armor. Ursa actually blinks forward on the Chen, gets slowed down though. He's now onto Moeta, but she gets the ult out and Zeus forced off out. Ursa a long way from home here. He's gonna lose his Aegis and he's in the middle of no man's land. He to get to him. Does have the PKB. He's gonna get out of there. Viper spitting up onto the tower and CM now left alone on the front. Does get the Yules off, but still very low. The BKB from Latrak get a couple more. Some of them threw a blow grenade. And Ursa blinks in, looking for something, but he's so low, he gets pulled up. Uh, CM dies to the incidental damage, and now the track out of mana getting run down. Muerta is so low, Viper on the front lines now. The Zeus ult comes out, it's not enough to bring anybody down, they're all so low. And Chen finally gonna fall. And Zeus still a lot of health, but not much health at all left. And Muerta now gonna get out of there. Are they gonna be bold enough to muscle their way forward onto these racks? Viper running up, he wants it. They send the Zeus illusions in. Latrak back with mana now, though. So, uh, Axe Blink getting cancelled by the Zeus damage. Zeus actually jumping forward, and Latrak, though, BKB gets brought down. Bleaking comes out, but it's not enough. And now, no Latrak and no Latrak buyback. These racks are in a lot of trouble. Viper starts spitting the card, he's still alive. Waiting for the next creep wave to come in. Waiting for another round of the Zeus uh, Manta Star. Viper getting feared up more. She's doing what she can to defend the building, and she, to be fair, she's slowing it down a lot. Axe with another miss blink. Did he blink on the spot there? There was nothing to cancel. I think he just blinked on the spot. That's uh, that's unfortunate, but. I mean, Teg, they lose a fight, but they defend their high ground against the Aegis, so... You know, you take what wins you can get. Um, I don't think they used any buybacks either, so... Lost their tier 3, but they're still in it. Like, the the Rax pressure's just not there. It did look pretty, uh, pretty hairy for them. And, uh, ping on the Tormentor coming out, but the Tormentor's a long way away from everybody. That's here. Um, ideally, in that circumstance, you see everyone back to the same tower to do it, but you really need to be on full health to do the Tormentor, uh, especially as a sport, because you will just get it killed. It's uh, very, very, very funny to see a support like panic running away down the ramp in fear, but Tormentor's still damaged and the carries still in it. Uh, Chen, gonna ward up and spot out the push coming in. I need and... that thing. Zeus is fun. Has a shield rune. Finished his Kaya and uh, the Archer and Kaya now. Don't look now, but and has a Paladin sword. Is getting obliterated. Uh, okay, fine. Dude, Zeus is so tanky. He does so much damage. What do you do? If you don't have BKB, you're just going to get rinsed by Zeus. And, uh, I mean, Sweet Peak's obviously still feeling confident. They're, uh, running forward. No Aegis, but they still, uh, still want to threaten the high ground. Kira gonna slow him down, does throw out the macro pile, but 
Lapis is still just standing there and uh, hitting the cow with the shots, so reducing its armor, dealing damage. Macropire does clean up two free plays, so nice and time Macropower. But Ursa looking for the opportunity to blink in that ward. Um, a tithe to the impurities. But yeah, just just not confident enough to take a flight in the high ground. I think this is the right choice to, to back here. And Lashrak doing a nice job of, you know, farming up the map while uh, while his team defends and really good uh, really good macro fire usage there to, to push back two crew blades. And now a smoke out. They don't get the axe though, the axe is not in the smoke, but uh, they do see Viper and Ogre here, and Lashrak now tipping to the creep wave. Uh, is Lodging Charlie. He has no mana! There's zero mana, he can't even. Bloodstone to. There's the Bloodstone, and now he's getting uh, mana out. And they are going to bring down Viper. He goes down. Axe is so low. Ursa finishes him off. Ursa now onto the track. He's enraged, but uh, now the BKB comes out as well. But Ursa goes down. Ogre goes down as well. And the track just barely alive, but here comes Zeus. He has the shield rune. He jumps in, and now it's Zeus first. Uh, well, it's a mono on mono. Zeus, no BKB though, so he's still getting hit up. Does get out of there. The uh, freezing field from Lanerial does clean up Chen. And Chen's. Uh, both heroes is going to decide to back there. We really saw that uh, if it's mono and mono, Muerta vs Zeus, Muerta actually does deal more damage, and I think especially since Muerta had the BKB going there, so... Just too much for Zeus to overcome. Almost have a move shot, though. But, uh, yeah, overall... Uh, Ursa starting to, starting to be quite an issue, and... Lesh, uh, Lesh, I think, pretty lucky to get away with that one. He was so low on mana when that fight started, but luckily, uh, the creep wave comes in, and along with Bloodstone is enough to, uh, to get him up to full mana so that he can take the fight there. Zeus, now with enough gold for that move, so. <laughs> and the Rosh number two getting started here by, uh, Sweet Mix, and there's a, with a long TP in, but he is coming in. There's going to be no contest here. The contest is far too far away for anything to happen. So. Second Roshan, another Aegis, another Cheese. And this is the make or break for Take Reborn. They've taken a couple of decent fights on their high ground, but um, is the is the Aegis going to be enough to break that, that defense? And to be fair, it's pretty hard for Zeus to get up onto the high ground and deal, do the damage that he's been doing in these fights. So... Um, not a lot of like high ground initiation from Sweet Bix. They, if they want to take a fight, they basically have to blink their Ursa in and hope that the uh, you know heroes stand there trying to, to deal with him. His illusions are dealing so much damage. The tracking form by Zeus is just a BKB to get out of there. Just took so much damage from the illusions, and uh, you know fairly panicking once he actually sees the real Zeus there. And Zeus so Moonstone coming, yeah. Is this still a long way away from this push? Oh! Actually consumes the moonshot. Even though it really has an inventory slot available. And he's not gonna upgrade. Well, that's that's a mistake, I think. Uh, moonshot gives twice the attack speed, but Flesh spotted out taking the shrine and no BKB here. Oh. Zeus just gonna funnel him down. Uh, far too much lightning for uh, Lishrak. We Took 1600 damage in like, you know, two or three seconds. Can I see Lesh's death recap? Nah. Oh, so yeah, just, just far too much lightning and, you know, personally a little bit disappointed there's not a mouse from here, you know, but what can you do? An Ursa, and looking for a blink in there, I think, but uh, taking damage, so this blink dagger gets muted. And, uh, strange that they're pushing mid now. Um, they haven't touched the tower at all. They stopped their feet here, but there's no tower top of this, so they, they might, uh, might try and go in through there. And, uh, unfortunately, a pause, but... Oh, look at this. We're not live, so... 
Oh, fantastic. Look at, oh, we'll go up to 16 times. They all the chumps watching the game live had to wait. Not us, though. Not us. Uh, I saw the chat, so I panicked. Are we, uh... No? Alright. Back to 16 speed. He's back. He's back. Slot down, slot down. Look at that. That was like... I don't know. Four, four or five minutes of pause that we just blasted through. And surely the game's going to resume any second here. And, uh, actually... To be fair, I might, uh, might do that because it does kind of spoil, <laughs> spoil what happens. Oh, all we know is the game ends soon. It could be anyone who wins. Literally anyone. You know, Tag might just run it down mid with no buybacks. You never know. But it's looking like the slow siege with Viper is going to be, it's going to be too much. And I said it's it's hard for Sweetbix to force a fight on the high ground, but it's just as hard for Take Reborn to come down to the low ground and force a fight into this mess of heroes. There's just so much damage from Zeus, from Viper, from Ursa. And even, honestly, even the CM with the freezing field is, is doing work. Um, the smoke up though. Well, that's just slowing down the push wherever they can, but it doesn't really change the dynamic of the push. Viper now onto the barracks, spitting, spitting out. Um, the smoke looks like Axe is gonna try for engagement. Ken does break the smoke there. But they have to try something here. It sucks, but it is what it is. But Ursa actually makes the moves onto Chen. Chen's dead before he does anything. Uh, Lebrak taking a lot of damage. BKB Bloodstone is keeping him alive for a bit, and he's still alive. It does tick down though, unfortunately. Ursa stunned up into the team, but the BKB comes out now. Big Axe call, but it's just not enough. Really nice use by Luton Aerial there. Uh, gonna stop any damage coming out. And Muerta, unfortunately, just, just not enough damage. Didn't have mana for Pierce the Veil in that, uh, that whole engagement. And no buyback for Tegri Reborn as well. Muerta now coming back. Does have mana for Pierce the Veil. He's gonna force star forward. The G's comes out from Viper. And the Root stopping Muerta from attacking. Now stunned up. Pierce the Veil hasn't got a single attack off. Ursa points forward. Uh, is gonna go on to Mwata, fears him away, but the rest of the team's there, and now Freezing Field on Zakira, he's the last member to pull. Zakira, the only person with buyback on the whole of Egg. Chen's respawned, but Chen, no creeps, no army, what does he do by himself? This is at the very least gonna be Megas, and yeah, they, they call this GG. This one's over, no buyback. Yeah, maybe, maybe the chance to defend the high ground is there with buyback, but unfortunately just, uh, yeah, not having buybacks 40 minutes in the game, it's just far too much muscle, and this Zeus looked really, really good, I wonder if for, uh, we maybe won't see that in game 2, but it was uh, game 1, so there is a second game uh, of uh, Sweetbix and Take Reborn, Sweetbix take the first win.